Emmanuel, Matthew 1, 23. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. One of those who came in the time past with a very terrible disease that God Almighty used his anointed servant, Senior Prophet Joshua, to set free. And this one was a case of a chronic skin disease. When I say chronic, I mean chronic. Let us watch the screen of viewers all over the world. Please, it's a very sensitive footage, but we are bringing this to your viewing for the glory of God. And after uh, watching the problem that brought the young man, then they will come forward to share the testimony. Let us watch the screen and be blessed in Jesus' name. Warning, the footage you are about to watch is of a sensitive nature. And although it may not be suitable for all viewers, it is for the glory of God. A shocking condition brought this man to the synagogue of the Church of All Nations. His body riddled with sickness. Right from the crown of his head, his entire body has been engulfed in a plague, shattering his skin into scale-like fragments. There is not a hair left on his head as the frightening sickness has completely destroyed the skin. From his head, the disease rages across his body, damaging every inch and rendering his arms useless. The skin flakes and peels horribly all the way down his arms to his fingers. Not one inch of his skin has been left unaffected. This is a body that cannot lie down, bend or work. A once strong and healthy man, now not even a shadow of his former self. As this debilitating disease has made even menial tasks an unimaginable thought. Right down his legs to his feet, the storm of destruction continued with no intermission. Much of the skin had been scratched and eroded away here, closing the sensitive flesh. Some of the broken pieces of his skin can still be seen barely hanging on his hurting body. His legs are in places as rough as tree bark and as uncomfortable and just as disfigured. Even the small movements he makes to turn must be causing him terrible discomfort. Demonstrating his fragile state, he touches a piece of his splintered skin which comes off from his hand. And you can clearly see that more is ready to fall. Let's listen to him. My, my name is Jude Oraka. I come from Anambra State. My age is 39 years. Can you please tell us the problem that brought you to the Synagogue Church of Furniture today? It's about my skin disease. Six years now. I cannot sleep. My body is crashing. I cannot walk fine. I feel cold. Oh, general body pain. Uh, my, body, my body used to pee. And be falling out. I, I go around to the hospital, but uh, the doctors have no solution. I go, I go to notice the uh, medicine, I take with the the medicine, but there is no solution. Uh, and uh, I'm a driver. Since then I cannot drive, I stay at home. So how did you hear about the Synagogue Church of All Nations? I watch it in the university. Uh, I believe that God will heal me. I will pray with you that God Almighty will set you free from this problem of terrible skin disease in your life, in Jesus' name. Amen. Mesdames et Messieurs, regardez votre écran. Voyons cet homme. 
qui est venu ici avec un problème de maladie de la peau. Watch your screen. That will help your face. Look at the case here. It's a mysterious issue. I never knew how he came here. Because I don't know the kind of vehicle that will convey this man here. So let, let it get free and go. Please help my brother. I have seen this for past six years. We have taken him all over, no solution. Both in the church, in the harbor, list, in the medical report, no, no solution. Man of God, please help my brother, please. He has skin disease. For how many years? For six years, sir. Okay, let's hear from your brother. What is your problem? Can you talk? Uh, uh, this, uh, this key. Okay, so it seems they cannot talk. As you see, the, the, the appearance, so the, it is inside. Within and outside is like this. Okay? And uh, you'll be able to say it work with me. You are ready to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Are you ready to say Yes. Thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say I command that infirmity out. Begin to pray in them. His hands tremble, indicating the presence of the Holy Spirit. That's it. Hey! That's it. Out! Out! I say out in the name of Jesus Christ. It must come out because the name Jesus is given to cast out demons and to speak to the sin. With the name, we have dominion over all diseases, all afflictions, infirmity, trouble, and the challenges in your life. It's poison. It drunk poison. Can you say what I ask you to be patient for? The issue like this cannot be handled in the same way I handle your case. Jesus stand up. Instantly the man rises to it's free. and health have been totally restored and you can even see the presence of hair once again all over his body. His once ragged and deformed skin has become smooth, clean and comfortable once again. And only Jesus can remove the curse. So right now, and he's here in our midst. Please, you are welcome. Hallelujah! Nous voyons cet homme s'avancer dans la foule, complètement guéri, sa peau complètement. Praise the Lord. 
if Jesus Christ could bring Lazarus up from the tomb, the power and effectiveness are still the same yesterday, today, and forever. Our brother, let us put the King of Glory. Yes, we don't have too much time on our side, so we go through. Please let us have our seat. So, to the synagogue church of nations once again in Jesus' name, and uh, listen to this wonderful testimony. Please introduce yourself and share with us the testimony that has brought you today. Emmanuel, bread and good morning. My name is Monica Ode. It is my brother Jude Oraka. We are all situated from the but we all it all started. He was sick for over six years. But closer as for two years back, the thing started developing to chronic skin disease. This skin disease started gradual by gradual from the back to the stomach to the leg, all over, as well as in including the eyes, the ears. This thing became so worse, we take him to hospital, we take him to harbor home, him everywhere. In short, it became a curse. In short, if we are coming on the way, people will be given no chance. We didn't need to ask for an excuse. We are already carrying an excuse by ourselves. Anywhere they see us coming, people will start running. Is it a ghost or a human being? But I want to thank God today. I don't know that Jesus is still alive. I can bring my brother life today. And we are here to celebrate life and to return glory to God. As of last year, as of last year, June 5th, July 5th, we came here. When we got to the village, the condition became so terrible. All of us gathered. Nobody could proffer solution. They say the problem is beyond human imagination. It's beyond human understanding. The family gathered and said, how can we do about it? To have solution. Then I gave birth to a child of about just a month and some weeks. I said, it's only one man can do this job, which is Prophet T.B. Joshua. If Prophet T.B. Joshua... Okay, point of correction that only God Almighty can do it through his anointed servant, your prophet Joshua. Remember the man of God says, I am not a healer, but I know the healer, and his name is Jesus Christ. All glory be to God. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. Thank you very much. Continue your testimony. We all gathered and said, we have nothing to do. That they will give up hope that in short they don't, if this man happened to be a this is a walking corpse it's a dead man already any money invest on him is waste because there is no hope of living again i said if they can only give me a trial let's travel to lagos to see the god of prophet tb joshua they now turn and ask me how can this man sit from anambra state to lagos die on the road. I say it doesn't matter. If he die, he will return the cause back to Makodi. But I know watching him to go down and give up, I will not forget a step of faith. The family now said to I have a little child of a mother who can travel down to Lagos with this young man. They said they don't know the, the service pattern, what, what, what. I say I will go thought about my baby how will i carry the baby and the man and in short because this the sick disease is a curse you cannot hold him you cannot hold him with your bare hands to hold his hand because magnetic to your skin 
I asked my husband, I said, can you allow me to travel with your child? He said, yes. Okay, I told my brother, I will go. They said, but only me. His wife support volunteer that she will go. But if we are coming to the she will not appear. But at the secret, she will appear. I said, don't worry. The crowd, I will bear the shame. We took the journey. Dress him up from the first instant of him from Oka. We have to put him four shirts. From up to down. We wear him thick socks. We wear him, we use head tie. We we'll tie him down like this. In cap, we put. We we'll carry spectacle, we we'll cover the eyes. Only the mouth can show you. But see here, the mouth, people are still dictating what is wrong. Uh -uh. Some people see him. This. Me and I have to talk to the driver. I say, please, God can only use you to help us. Let's carry this man down to synagogue, to Lagos. His mercy. The driver said on one condition. I said, what is the condition? He said, three of us will be at the back. That the passengers will they will sit at the front. I said, no problem. We sat at the back. As the motor is moving, the particles of the body is rotating inside the vehicle. In short, it became a problem. The, the passenger became angry with the driver. Must you collect money by force? Is it every passenger you see, you must carry? In short, insults and disgrace. Both me, in short, our body was smelling. We kept faith. God drive us from Anambra State to Sinago here. We arrived. Arriving to Sinago, for Kekenape, Otaizu to pick us from there to Ikotu, it became a problem. All of them ran away. When the mobile could drop us, he carried broom and packer. He sweeped the whole chaff of the body and threw away. When we drop at Saleh, let's the case is not carrying this type of woman, he's not carrying a dead man inside this vehicle. The whole time they rejected us. We stood there for about three good hours begging for them who to assist. One I said he's going to give us double charges. I said no problem. We carried us to Ikotu here. Reaching all these people that are drag, uh, I have a lodge, I have a lodge. When they saw this and they ran away, they deny not having a lodge. <laughs> Nobody agreed that they have a lodge. So, so <laughs> praise God. Amen. Okay, for those who don't understand this part, what the woman is trying to say is that after all the terrible experience they had, getting to Ikotu, where the synagogue is located. You know, coming down from the bus stop, usually you have uh, these hoteliers running around you for accommodation. Please come, come. No, I'm the first person that got this one. No, yeah, let's, let's go. But, you know, they would drag customers. But when they saw this man, they all ran away. <laughs> Amen. This was not the kind of customer they were looking for. Okay, continue. So all of them now ran away. They said, no, they don't need this type of customer. We stood for about one hour. We happened to talk to one woman. The woman said she will give us an apartment on one condition. I asked her, what is the condition? Double payment. I said, no problem. We will pay. The woman ushered us. Even entering to the lodge, people that lodges started running. They we are not staying in their room, we are in our own private room, but they pick rate, all of them run away from the compound. We give God the glory. The day of the prayer came, the Saturday prayer line. We dress him on the normal attire, raincoat, and cover every part of the body. Because once you see the body, you get scared, you not come closer. As we enter there. But before then, when we are going to hospital to hospital, Imagine a sick patient will be in the hospital waiting to see doctor. I want to see another sick patient. He's running away from that one. That he don't want to contaminate, he don't want to contact disease and, and transmitted disease. When we enter the hospital, the whole patient give her a chance. They, they say, who, Madam, who brought this man here? I say I'm the one. And you are carrying a little child and you are carrying this kind of person. 
do you have conscience for the baby you are carrying? I say, sir, the man in question is my brother, my baby. And I know that nothing will happen to the child. He said, okay, for this, the man should go as to stay far away from the entrance of the hospital. We went and sat on the block, what in my chair. He sat on the block outside. We started taking protocols. They ensure they have to bring their strings outside to come and take whatever they are taking, not inside again. God saw us through to no avail. We came back. A faithful day as God may. If God said that your time is not yet come, no matter how the devil will toy, that will still be. This young man, the whole mouth is bruises. The whole body is paws. The butters, in short, if you sit near him, he'll be crying day and night, day and night. Say the body. I say talk. You tell me if he's the one that we can do, we we'll proper solution. He said the only assistant we can give to him is to carry broom to scratch the body of which we take the broom. Not even the not strong capacity to pull down the bruises. We we'll carry spoon, the broom. We we'll sweep the body. To sweep it, at least when we we'll sweep the body, we leave a little bit. After the man of God stretched forth his hand and prayed with him that July 5th, from that day, he started getting his healing, gradual by gradual, gradual by gradual. And today, it has become a history. And we are here to say thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. As you can see, indeed, become a history that he was once suffering a chronic skin disease looking at the before and the after wow god has done a great thing so tell us all through this period that he was passing through this terrible situation was there any hope from the time you thought Sir, no hope at all no hope no hope Okay, so now the Lord God Almighty has you as a sister who has been bearing all the burden. How do you feel? I feel very happy. If he's the only mission to accomplish, I'm grateful to him. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Indeed, we thank God Almighty for your patience and uh, for being able to stand all this uh, terrible challenge and we believe it wasn't you it was the spirit of god if everyone had deserted him run away from him and you decided to take it upon yourself even with a, a month old baby i think it was it was the spirit of god and we thank god also for allowing yourself to be used by the spirit of god to bring him to the arena of liberty where he was eventually set free once again let us clap for jesus christ so in the meantime let us hear from the man himself sir we can't see the smile on your face. <laughs> okay, now tell us your name. Emmanuel. Oh. My name is Jude Oraka. I'm from Anambra State. The person beside me is my lovely sister. Uh, glory be to God in the highest. You have heard it from him. Okay, continue. The, the person beside me is my lovely sister. So I want to thank God as God used my sister to bring me in synagogue not your nation. So what was the problem that brought you to the synagogue church of all nations? The problem was chronic skin disease can you just 
explain to us because it is said that he who feels it knows it can you tell us what you were experiencing what was your condition at that time how did you feel in your body when you were having this problem by that time i feel hot all over my body all my body was overheating like a motor radiator so i cannot sit down i cannot stand only to lie down 24 hours I'm, i will lie down on the bed and i cannot go to toilet by myself anything i will do i must need an assistant to help me and who was doing that my sister my loving sister mm. okay so and also you were taken to different places like where and where were you taken to okay. i was taken to the hospital to the native uh, herbalist whether i can get the native medicine but that's all in vain so everywhere you went and people saw you how did they react uh, they feel like uh, most great is coming they run away run away mm. Mm. okay now when you eventually came to the Sago church of all nations the man of god stretched his hand to you can you describe to us what happened at the prayer line so when i came we meet man of god he said that whether i believe in god i say yes okay he says it was a poison so but i'm going to vomit it right now he straight hand upon me so i started uh, trying to so because uh, by that time i'm not with myself i don't know what happened so but i vomit something from that time i started getting myself much more recovery until this time and how are you now i'm feeling okay all right shall we put our hands together for jesus christ okay now we want you to pull up the sleeves of the cloth you are wearing let us see more of your body and also your shoes let us see the feet that was as rough as the back of an oak tree then but today you can see as smooth as the skin of a bouncing newborn baby wow can you wow for the glory of god we want to see the foot because we knew how it was when you came it was terrible looking one side is okay okay wow shall we put our hands together for jesus christ now can you touch tap rub it and let us see do you feel anything Do you feel no, any pain? No pain. Before, when you had this problem, this terrible skin disease, were you able to touch or rub it? Uh, I couldn't bend down. I would not bend down. You couldn't even bend down. Wow. Can you exercise your body now? Let us put our hands together for Jesus. Thank you. Glory be to God in the highest end. Looking at what God has done in your life, setting you free, bringing you back from death to life. What word of advice do you have for people who are listening to? There are many people out there, doubting Thomases, who don't even believe in the power of miracle, but you are a living testimony. What do you have for them? Uh, what I have for them is this. In any situation at all, the person should not give up to put hope on God. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Indeed, no matter the circumstances, no matter the situation, do not lose hope. Put all your faith and trust in God. At God's own time, that problem will be over. In Jesus' name. To God be the glory. Right now, let us listen to our dear sister. So, what word of advice do you have for people listening to your testimony? Emmanuel. 
my advice goes like this sometimes we women you have a brother that is passing through a difficult challenge in such a way that you cannot associate with that person but if you can summon courage because even the day that they were delivering him people that was watching this telly live broadcast in makodi they were calling me say they don't know i'm so short wicked i said what manner of wickedness is that he said why did i take such a risk carrying this kind of human being with a child coming to lagos paraventure the man died on the road what question do i have to answer I say when they die, I'm not a murderer. I'm just providing solution. And God will not allow him to die on the road. But today, the risk you take based in the leading of God will bring success tomorrow. And we are here today celebrating life to God. Hallelujah. And standing by watching the man of God, just by stretching hand at a distance to your brother and he started vomiting. How did you feel? What can you say about the power of God? Saying the man of God alone, even before stretching hand, I feel that this man will not die again. See him alone, sighting eyes on him. And when he stretched out his hand, I know that the end of the calamity is over. This is a new beginning. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Indeed, a new beginning. All things are gone. All things become new. That is the promise of God. And I want to thank God Almighty for your life, sir, for being alive today to share this wonderful testimony because of the grace of God in the life of his able servant, Senior Prophet Joshua. And also, we just want to know, because of our viewers all over the world, want to know, we know that miracle is only a means to an end but not the end itself the end is the salvation of our soul can you tell us since you received this miracle this healing how has it influenced your life has it drawn you closer to christ and are you living your life for the glory of god now that you have received his mercy and grace since i was delivered so i have surrendered my life to christ I can never go back to sin again. So the way you're talking now with ease, were you able to talk freely like this with ease before now? No. Hallelujah. No more pain. No more pain. No more sorrow. I talk freely. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you. Indeed, this miracle is more than enough to change one's life entirely. And now that you have recognized the, the power of God and have also encountered it, we want to encourage you to remain in faith in Christ Jesus. Continue to make the word of God the standard for your life and your miracle will be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. So once again, sister, we want to thank you very much for allowing yourself to be used for the glory of God to bring this man to the arena of liberty where he's set free today and thank God you are part of this wonderful testimony in Jesus name. Nous allons entendre le même témoignage de cet homme qui est venu à la synagogue église de toute nation souffrant de problèmes de maladies de peau chroniques depuis plusieurs années. Nous avons entendu sa sœur disant qu'ils ont été partout chercher de solutions. Dans les hôpitaux, dans les, la médecine traditionnelle, ils ont trouvé des solutions. Sa peau s'est plus chère comme des écailles de poisson. Il avait toujours des démangeaisons. Les gens s'enfuyaient de lui. Personne ne voulait l'aider. Mais sa sœur a pris vraiment un pas de foi en disant de l'amener d'un état du Nigeria jusqu'à Lagos ici, à la synagogue église de toute nation. Elle a dit qu'il lui a mis quatre t-shirts, lui a enveloppé le visage d'un foulard, lui a mis des lunettes de soleil et malgré cela la maladie se voyait les gens s'enfuyaient chaque fois qu'ils étaient dans sa présence elle a dit qu'elle a dû supplier les gens de pouvoir l'emmener jusqu'à la gosse elle a trouvé quelqu'un qui a eu l'amabilité de le faire et malgré cela même sa peau s'est pêchée à l'intérieur du bus qui affectait les autres personnes malgré cela elle a quand même continué elle a dit non que la honte sera sur elle mais qu'elle devra amener cet homme à la synagogue église de toute nation pour trouver sa délivrance car il savait que l'homme de Dieu pouvait dire choix à travers Jésus Christ pouvait guérir cet homme et aujourd'hui nous avons vu qu'après la prière de l'homme de Dieu il ne pouvait même plus parler convenablement car la maladie aussi coinçait sa gorge. Il a eu vomir des substances poisonneuses et après cela il était complètement libre et aujourd'hui il revient donner son témoignage. Ça a pris complètement lisse, complètement régénéré, renouvelé grâce à la prière de l'homme de Dieu pour le choix. Aujourd'hui il rend toute la gloire à Dieu parce que le Seigneur l'a guéri, il a sauvé de la mort à la vie. 
To so be the glory, this is worth praising God for. Right now we are going to call on our choristers to give us wonderful songs of celebration as we glorify the name of God for this wonderful healing he has done in the life of this man. Let's rise up our feet. And At the mention of your name, every name was bound. At the mention of your name, every tongue confessed. At the mention of your name, every name was bound. At the mention of your name, every tongue confessed. Oh! 
thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Hallelujah. If you would like to visit the Synagogue Church of All Nations, log on to our website, www.scoan.org. Go to the Visit Us page. And for those from within Nigeria, you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria, there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked. And after you have filled in the questionnaire, remember to click send. Please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any traveling arrangements or flight bookings. All communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address, info at scoan.org. We look forward to hearing from you. Emmanuel, God with us.